Hi, I am Larissa. Today we are going to discuss in detail how SciComm Automatic Pancake Maker works. Its power is 3 kilowatt. Voltage is 230 volts. Capacity is 120 to 240 pancakes per hour, depending on particular batter recipe. Since the process of batter dispensing in the machine bases on the law of communicating vessels, the machine must be leveled. The machine is supplied non-assembled. Before the operation, it is necessary to check the delivery set completeness and do preliminary assembling. The delivery set consists of a pancake module, mesh conveyor belt for stacking pancakes, sheet pan for batter, copier for round pancakes, intermediate metal shaft, inserts for the dispenser's height adjustment, probes for checking the gap between the metal shaft and the drum, two dispensers for batter, three liters each, shelf for batter dispensers. Additionally, one may order another copier for making square pancakes. The first thing to be installed would be the mesh conveyor. Then the sheet pan for batter. The metal shaft. And the copier. The preliminary assembling has been done. Now let us start the machine and let it run at idle. The control unit includes temperature controller with an electric panel, cooking time regulator, pancakes counter, cooking switch, and mains indicator. We turn on the power switch, then turn on the cooking switch, and set cooking time at 20 seconds. At that, we adjust the gap between the frying drum and the metal shaft. Now we move the tumbler to the start position. The moment when the shafts come up to the frying drum, we turn off the power switch. With a probe, we check the gap's evenness. If necessary, we can regulate the width of the gap by the screws in the lower part of the carriage. The machine has been tested and is ready for operation. Let us make the batter. In the instruction manual, you can find a couple of basic batter recipes. I can share with you another one, mine. For it, you will need one kilogram of the best quality wheat flour, 1.6 liters of milk, 200 grams of vegetable oil, five fresh chicken eggs, 140 grams of sugar, 20 grams of table salt, and a professionally planetary multi-speed mixer with a whisk. Let us begin. Our batter is ready. While it is left to rest for 20 minutes, we will heat the machine up. We turn on the power switch, leaving the start-stop tumbler in the stop position. Turn on the cooking switch and set the temperature. For my batter, it will be 280 degrees Celsius. The electronic panel shows the actual temperature and the set point value. The flying drum has already heated up higher than 250 degrees Celsius. Now we set the frying time at zero. Grease the drum with an oiled napkin and then polish it with a dry one. Then grease the knife behind the drum. We install the pan for batter, the metal shaft and the round copier. Now we pour the batter into the pan and make some pancakes by adding batter manually. We move the tumbler to the start position and start frying.
The machine is working very smoothly, so we may switch over into the automatic mode. Now we install the shelf and dispenser with the batter. Using special inserts, we regulate the dispenser's height. Now the machine is operating in automatic mode. Please note that for successful operation, the machine must be leveled. When the batter in the sheet pan is about to end, we start helping it with a spatula. It took me 15 minutes to make 45 pancakes using both round and square copiers. The capacity is 180 pancakes per hour. I wish you all the success in mastering the machine.